the area was first inhabited around 500 AD. A major population influx began soon after the eruption of Sunset Crater in the 11th century. While the ashfall may have helped retain moisture for these ancestral Puebloan dry farmers, this is a harsh landscape with rare springs. It was a cultural crossroads where trading would have been important, yet it was abandoned by 1225 AD. The Pueblo sits atop volcanic rock and was constructed from thin, flat blocks of the local Moenkopi sandstone. I enter the site with a sense of honoring, acknowledging those who created the small circular village with the kiva, which is an underground spiritual chamber, at its center. I am aware that this may be an active Hopi shrine site, one of many where today's people pray for the blessings of the ancestor spirit keepers. Looking directly to the south across the large sinkhole is the holy mountain for today's Hopi people who are descendants of those ancestors. The sinkhole indicates the presence of underground water flow. Nearby, just to the north, are ruins built along a fault crack. There are unimpeded 360 degree views in all directions that draw the eyes outward with a sense of awe. This is the northern edge of the 1800 square mile San Francisco Peak volcanic field. I feel exhilarated by the energies inherent in this volcanic landscape and the knowing that this is part of an interconnected network of sites of natural power in this region. To the northwest is the Grand Canyon, sacred place of emergence for the Hopi and Zuni peoples. To the northeast across the Painted Desert Basin are the Hopi Mesas, the place of center after their long migrations around North and South America. And even today, the Hopi Mesas are very remote from the modern world. The Wapatki Great House gathering place with its earth energy breathing hole, ball court, and large open air kiva is just to the southeast of Citadel Ruin. A pair of ravens land near me enjoying their lunch, unperturbed at my close presence, bold watchers, teasers, interactors with us humans. Ra ravens hold a fascination for me. I share a few timeless minutes with these intelligent beings in the wind, watching a storm come in over the peaks, feeling blessed by their companionship. I am happy to be here now in this moment, part of the ongoing flow of life in this region, just exploring energies, just being.